Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we're gonna check out Zero Base One's newest title track, Good So Bad. Our boys are booked and busy. Oh my god. I feel like I'm still on Sweat and Feel the Pop era. I'm still enjoying that era. And I'm still catching up on content. There is so much. They're booked and busy. And here we are on a new era already. It's insane. Um, for those that are interested, I did react to a lot of their content on Patreon, from performances to album reactions to variety shows. I will be reacting to their full album. So yeah, if you guys are interested, those are available on my Patreon. Link is down below. Okay, Zero Base One, Good So Bad. I don't really have any predictions on what kind of sound this will be, just because all of their title tracks might have been quite different. Um, out of the out of all the title tracks they have had so far, I do love Sweat and Feel the Pop era the most. So let's see how this goes. Zero base one, good so bad. Let's get to it. The harder I struggle to hold on to her, the more the pain deepens. When you hear the rhythm, start to move. Whoa! Oh my god! I like this already! Oh wow! It's so celebratory! Oh! Yo! Hey! Cute! <laughs> Beautiful. Whoa. No, 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 Yo, the motorcycle is so good. Whoa. Beautiful. Hey. They put a lot of budget in, like, the cinematography aspect for this. Like, there's a lot of set pieces. Yeah, there's a lot of different locations. Yo, that title reminds me of 2521. Oh, cute! Is that the whole point? It's like a drama kind of thing? Yeah, it has a filmic tone to the song. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I get the theme now. I get the theme. I feel like I should know this actor. They look so freaking good. Holy shit. Wow. Oh my god, just the visuals on this group is insane. Look. Wow. Oh my god. Holy shit. Damn. Okay. Want exclusive reactions? On my Patreon, there are thousands of hours of reactions from reality shows, documentaries, concerts, albums, to survival shows, and many more. 
Enjoy more entertainment industry knowledge, affordable pricing, easy to read menus so you know what you can get on each tier, and just overall fun content. I cover many of the groups I already do here on YouTube so you can be sure to find something you like. Link in the description down below. Uh, I feel like I need to listen to it one more time. Um, it started really, really good. Um, that celebratory kind of like very emotional um, sound, you know, it's so epic and so grand in a way. When you open a sh song like that, I can, I can already hear it on like the award show season stages. Um, and I can see why they pick something like this for the title track because it will be, it's almost like a finale to a, to a concert, you know, I can hear it like when they're running around and stuff on stage, the confetti comes up and it's that vibe. You know, we're partying. That's the vibe of the song. Um, and so I know they're touring. And if this song is going to be there um, on the, it probably will be. It's either I, I feel like it's gonna it, I feel like it's either gonna be like the opening song or one of the finale songs just because it has that vibe. Um, so yeah, the beginning incredible that opening that intro. Um, and the I I just feel like when you have that big of a moment for the intro, I feel like it needs to be almost sustained either throughout the song or, um, in the latter half of the song. But I feel like just off the first listen, I'll, I'll go again. Um, I'll listen to it again. Uh, but I feel like off the first listen, I feel like it kind of, it had this epic intro and then it kind of like um, went down. Yes. But it kind of just like stayed in that kind of direction. It didn't really have that kind of like dynamic change. So that, and then to go up again in that epicness of that intro. I don't know if that makes sense. Storyline, it seems like we got a like a we got a director type here. I feel like I should know this actor, but I don't. Mm. Um, let me know in the comments. <laughs> um, so I feel like we have a writer director here, and then um our got our boys are the kind of like the actors in these storylines, and that's why there's a lot of different locations and it feels like a K-drama type. I haven't seen anything off the teasers and stuff because obviously I wanted to formulate my opinion on the first reaction. Um, but that's what I'm getting. It's a K-drama vibe, um, which is great. They look incredible. In one of my first reactions after Voice Planet, um, I was kind of thinking like there was just so many like K-drama vibes and actor vibes from this group. And these frames really solidify those potential, you know, so, like... A lot of these guys will probably become an actor at one point. When you hear the rhythm, start to move. Yeah, this part, freaking amazing. Yes. That's an incredible start. It's incredible. It's so celebratory, but there's a vulnerable aspect to it. They sound amazing and it makes me want to cry. <laughs> it makes me want, it makes me emotional. It's, it's like a finale or no, it's like an OST to a K drama. You know? When you hear the rhythm, start to make It's so good. He looks incredible! Beautiful vocal. Now run down! Oh my god! And that's so cute. This uh, frame here is... Uh, so we have like K-drama type of vibes in like the other uh, parts of the music video. But like this part is like obviously zero base one with like... Uh, their performance outfits and it's just so them it's so them from the aesthetic from like the background the colors the outfits it's just so them i love it then we go into the k-drama parts last episode yeah oh that makes sense this feels like a different song <laughs> Um, from the beginning to this, I, I did not expect this switch for the first verse. Now 
the vocals though. That's one thing that they're gonna do right. The vocals. Yeah. Hey. Oh, that's a cool move. The chorus is really good, actually. Wow, how? I got the back to back. This part is really good. I love Cuban on the rap. Like, he was incredible. Like, oh my god. Just, ah, hey. On a date? You don't- do you even have to ask? You know, I feel like a lot of people will say yes. I like this- I, I like that part, like, melodically. I'm not talking about, like, with the first verse when I said that it feels kind of like a different sound, and, and then- and then liking this second verse. It's nothing against the boys, it's nothing against the tone of their voices, or like, the thing- it, it's the melody and composition, sonically. Um, I, I feel like this second verse fits quite well with the chorus, because the chorus is really good. But that first verse kind of felt like it kind of threw me off a little bit. Um, it may be something like that, that I need to keep listening to to grow into it. But it just like because of that intro, it I it sets it up, I feel like, to a certain kind of expectation. With what? I don't know. Uh, but with that first verse, I wasn't expecting that. And it didn't it feel like kind of out of place in a way. The boys sound good though. Um, it's just like the structure and melody of that first verse. But the second one, it feels right. It feels right after the chorus. Yeah. Oh, Terry! Hey! See, this feels right! Yeah! Yeah, the rap parts feel really good with the song. Hey, yeah. Wow. Bet that's why SL. <laughs> Let's go, Teddy! Go run! <laughs> My God. Hey, yeah, this, um, I would not be surprised if this is the same location <laughs> as 2521. But this is an incredible location to film and then dance like oh. he's so cute running yeah the chorus lives up to that intro beautiful he sounds beautiful The teddy bear! Hey! Wow! Wait! Look at this face! Look at this face! Oh my goodness! He is beautiful, his perfection. I was so thr I was so surprised by like the music that I really felt um like I like all the stuff that were happening on screen <laughs> just went over my head so that second uh th so this second watch is like such a different experience and I'm more able to kind of like you know enjoy the visual aspect of the music video <laughs> I feel like this last chorus, we could have done something more grand. Because it's a... I, wait, I don't know. It's my second listen. Um, I feel like it's the same as the other choruses. I feel like we could have been a little bit more celebratory vibe, triumphant vibe, kind of like the intro with this. Just to kind of push it. It could, it could be like a key change or something. To kind of elevate that climax. God! 
Jesus Christ, this the models! <laughs> Holy shit. Like, oh damn, the visuals are insane. Wow, the styling is impeccable. I love it. It looks so good. <laughs> Damn! Wow! Jesus! <laughs> so cute! Yeah, I really like the intro, the choruses, the latter verses. Um, I would've... I, I don't know. I, I feel like that first verse could have been different. This is, it's not, I'm, I'm not saying it's the artist. Uh, I'm not saying it's the boys who's singing in those verses. No, it's not that. It's the structure of the song um, and the melody. The first verse and then also the latter and the last chorus. I feel like it needed a key change. Um, if there was, if there wasn't any, it's, um, I, I didn't feel there was a key change. I feel like, but, um, Correct me if I'm wrong, or like I'll, I'll listen to it again. It just because it needed to have followed up the epicness of that intro. Because when you have an intro like that, it needs to be followed up with something greater, you know? Like it needs to be more, even more grand. It, it, it might be something that I would need to keep listening to, but I really like most of the song. I really do like most of the song. Um, The hip hop factor to it. The rap versus um, Terry's versus. Oh my God! Like when when it takes off there, beautiful. Um, there's an epicness to the latter half. Except I just wish I'd, it, it climaxed <laughs> into a key change. Let me know your thoughts. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching with me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure you check that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. And if you'd like to get to know more about me, I do have an Instagram. Link is down below.